Zion manufactures saviors. That's where they come from. They don't come from APC. They don't come from PDP. They come from Zion. You want to ask the Lord and say to him, let us start. Of soothsaying. There is a difference between truth and truth. So a soothsayer will speak true. Things that are verifiable in the natural. And you will know that it is accurate. But beyond true, there is something called truth. It is the nature of our God. Uh, so the nature of God had to come to the rescue in that particular situation. That even though this utterance is true, it did not come from me. Because Satan can quote the scriptures too. So the second thing on the list is the prophet speaks true, the soothsayer speaks truth. The prophet speaks truth, the soothsayer speaks what? True. Number three, the prophet can operate in hiding. He can be an intercessor that is hidden behind the scene and he doesn't want to be known. And maybe he will never be known till death. But the soothsayer must operate in lamplight. And the reason why the soothsayer must operate in lamplight is because he needs to get the endorsement of spiritual authority in order for him to be pedestaled in a position where he can sway the congregation or sway the nation, as the case may be. So the profit that the soothsayer intends to gain can only be so gained if there is a display close to spiritual authority. The full capacity of the soothsayer will never be actualized except he has the endorsement of spiritual leadership. The same said to Paul and us, these are the servants of the Most High God that show us the way to salvation. The same said to Paul. I can imagine how that prophetic service was. And when there was a little quiet in the room, then the lady stood up and pointed Paul. It was as if she was helping his ministry. People that had doubts about Paul's ministry, their souls were confirmed the moment the utterance came up. It is because of the element of truth that is in the deliverables of the soothsayer that men's souls are trapped in her bondage. Please help me tell your neighbor we need to go beyond true. Number four, the security of the prophet is the Holy Spirit. But the security of the soothsayer is a cartel. I speak in parables. I speak in parables. <laughs> it's a cartel. The moment that lady was checked, the cartel that backed her up. And a lot of prophets have remained in the cave because of the fear of the cartel. Yes, Satan does not just launch. He provides security insurance policies to guard his manifestations in every generation. So the confidence that the soothsayer had, even though she was a little girl, was that there was a cartel behind her. And the day you try to compromise her, then just, just get ready for prison. Because a long network of, of people will rise up on the account. That's why the life of a... The Lord will help us. That is all I can say about it. <laughs> the security... Of a soothsayer. Yes. I've seen it in my city. There are a league of pastors that are into diabolical immorality. Diabolical. It doesn't make sense anymore. This is not somebody falling into sin. I mean a diabolical dimension of immorality. And there, there's a league, a strong league. And the moment the lady comes out and says, there was something like this. Those men will fight the lady and quell her into silence. 
There is always a cartel built. When Satan wants to make gains in a generation through falsehood, he does it through the power of a cartel. But you know what? The, time, the die is already cast. Before we hit mid-year 2023, you will begin to see the downfall of secret cartels that have been built to extend the shelf life of deception in the body of Christ in this nation. He said, beware of Balaam. 